From the Seven Network Studios, it's Australia's favourite game, Wheel of Fortune. And now, here are the stars of the show, Rob Elliott and Adriana Rixenides. What are you doing? Hello, everyone. Stop looking at this. Can we just... Can we pan what? the camera down just a little bit, catch it's this okay. little number here? No, it's Look finished. at that one. That, it's not finished. It is finished. Oh. <laughs> um, Jerry Shaw would be absolutely shattered if she heard that. It's a Jerry Shaw special. I was only joking because it's a beautiful dress. <laughs> she loves just such good stuff. And spring has sprung. It's the yes. first day of spring. Are you happy yeah. about that? What a lovely thing. <laughs> Time to clean and do all that bizzo as you do. Oh, yes. Forget about that. Speaking of a spring clean, we'd love to clear all the prize out this afternoon. Nice. No better one than this. Have a look. It's exciting for Soda Aerovac from Proton, powered by an economical 1.5-litre engine. The five-door GLI Aerovac combined style with performance designed for your safety and comfort. The Persona comes fully equipped with central locking, power steering and power windows. And with a three-year, one million kilometre warranty, it's fantastic value at $19,990 drive away. The Persona. You can't go past the Proton, Rob. No, you can't. Unless, of course, you're travelling out of control on that Yamaha scooter that Ellison won last night. <laughs> She's back, Ellison. Great work, everybody. That's a great prize. I'm very happy for you. You, you play this game very well. You, like you said, you play well at home, even better in the studio. Get these puzzles with just like a couple of letters. Last night, you've increased your prize total now to $18,506. <laughs> Is she on the way to being the biggest winner of all time? We'll find out. You played the game well enough. Let's see how you go this afternoon. A couple of guns to uh, try and knock you off your perch, Alison. Who are they, Johnny? Ken McIntosh, a builder who once nailed his finger to a window architrave, dropped a hammer and was left stranded on a stepladder. And Tracy Hicks, a freelance writer who was once washed away in Norway. Well, that's where you'd want to be washed away in Norway, isn't it? Beautiful place. Uh, then listen, exactly. you're a wardrobe mistress. Yes, I am. Which sounds very exciting, but... Uh, Basically, you dress people for... And you've just worked on Greece, have you? Greece. Just finished Greece, the Arena Spectacular. What a fantastic job. Oh, it was fabulous. Did you have to dress Craig McLaughlin? Um, sometimes. Oh, <laughs> Glenn Shorrock, all those. Are they all nice yes. people? Cause fabulous. Did you see the show, Greece? It was a fantastic show, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You might have to have a quick word to uh, Alan in wardrobe. He might be able to give you a job, Tracy. You never Ooh. know. Always look up in your dresses, aren't Lovely. Uh, good luck this afternoon. Ken, Thank how you. are you? I'm well, thanks. Uh, now, you, you fingered to a window architrave, dropped the hammer, and left straight on a stepladder. Ever thought of giving it up? I did at that stage, Rob. Did you? But the trouble is, that... I couldn't get off the stepladder. <laughs> sure. Well, you actually, you were nailed. Yeah, what happened was, I was pulling an architrave off, and the hammer slipped out, and it went back into the wall. It went straight through my finger. Ow! Oh! That's got to hurt, hasn't it? Uh, listen, Ken, uh, no bad luck this afternoon. Hopefully some uh, big prizes for you. Good luck, everybody. Let's have a look at the uh, wheel. $500 this top dollar in round one. Here's the puzzle we want you to solve. It's a, uh, a title. It's a movie title. Okay, great movie this was, too. Which word means both a cheese-eating rodent? Alison? Mouth? Yeah. <laughs> and the rest of the question is part of the computer, the little mousy thing. You're in control. Good luck. Let's go. So far every night you've been on, you've started us off, haven't you, Alison? No, no? and tonight I've got them. Oh, should we pay more attention to that one? 110. Yes, for Sally, please. Yes, yeah, sir, look at this. She picked the red one straight up. It's the red mystery letter. Makes the 110 look better. 220. Yeah. One hundred and eighty. Tea for Thomas, please. Yeah. Four hundred dollars. The champ is off and running. This needs to slow down. It uh, it should be should do it quite comfortably. Whoa. Here it is. One thirty-five. An R for Roger, thanks. An R, yes. <laughs> One R, five hundred and thirty-five. One fifty. In for Nora. There are two N's. Would you like a vowel? Yes, I would, thanks. I'll buy an E, please. An E. There are three E's. Fifty dollars for the vowel. It takes you back to six hundred and thirty-five. Ah, it's been again. Already. Thanks. 
180. G for giant? Yes. There are two Gs, $815. She's going to spin again. Take advantage of the fact only one bankrupt. One loser turn on the wheel in round one. Ken and Tracy would love to have a, a go, but uh, Alison is in total control. I think she's onto it too. And oh, but it's going to be okay. 180. A D for Duncan. Yes. She's going again, 995. This should slow down. I, oh, I think so. it's going to be close. I think oh. it's going to be. It's gone. Oh, one too many spins, perhaps, yeah. Alison. Uh, Ken is in control now. Yeah. I bet you didn't think this would be happening, Ken. Just, just standing there waiting for round two, I thought. Alison uh, knew what it was, but... Okay, $110. A H for Harry? Yeah. He's going to spin again. <laughs> 180. A W for window? Yes. That takes care of all the constants. Yeah. It must be... The wedding singer. That's it. Check it out on video now, I think, is it? Or probably close to it. Uh, Two hundred and ninety dollars, low-scoring round one. In fact, you're the only one with money in the bank. Secured. Let's go to the prize cupboard. Thanks, John. Hey, Ken, enjoy a great camping adventure with this huge five-man dome tent and accessories from Austrail. Knock up a winning score with a great range of sporting equipment from Kookaburra Sport, or maintain your skin and hair's natural beauty with this exciting range of products from Hygienic Solutions. Hey. Cosmetics to keep that skin looking youthful. I don't think mine needs a drop. No, I don't think you do either, just quietly. You're looking very young, about 25. Um, Kookaburra Sporting Products I'll will be... i Kookaburra Sporting Products, thanks. Good. All yours. Get ready to play ball with this fantastic sports package, Ken. There's something for all sporting tastes, including cricket, hockey and netball equipment. Hit the playing field with the leading name in Australian sport, Kookaburra Sports. <laughs> A couple of little grandchildren, 23 months and 6 months. When they get a bit older, you can have a bit of bat and That's ball. That's what it's for. We'll be back with round two right after this. Tracy will be in control. Her first spin, too. Come on back. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for joining us. Wheel of Fortune, Australia's favourite game. We're just about to get into round two. In fact, Tracy, it's going to be your first spin. Are you excited about that thought? Yes. All righty, have a look at the wheel. $1,000 is uh, top dollar. The bonus is there as well. Basically, what we want you to do is spin that up. If you do so, give us a letter out of the puzzle, any letter at all, instantly you'll win this. Travelling by coach, two people enjoy a luxury weekend in Canberra. Stay in a fully self-contained apartment, just minutes from the city's attractions. Compliments of James Court Apartments and Greyhound Pioneer Australia. Oh, there it is, the fun capital of Australia, Canberra. Um, good luck with that. Here's the puzzle we want you to solve in round two. Uh, it's an event that happened in the 20s, okay? A very important event uh, in this country. Good luck, everyone. Tracy's in control. We're underway. Yeah, hi to everyone watching in sunny Canberra, too. Thanks for joining us. Wheel of Fortune, round two. And Tracy's first spin. Looks like it's going to yield a 280. I have a T for Tracy, please. Why right? not? Two T's. It's not going to get to top dollar. It's going to be uh, 210. I'll have a H for Harry. Thank you. Yes. One H. That's it. Pick up the obvious letters. That's how to play the game. Don't forget, vowel buying is important too. Help you to sort out the letters. Fifty dollars. You must buy them before you spin, though. 210. I have an N for Nelly, please. Mm, yeah, two Ns. Oh, Trace, it's going to... Oh. Never mind, had a good start there. 700 in the bank, lose control to Alison. Uh, I'll buy an E. Uh, you oh, can't, I can't. Uh, I don't money. have any money in the bank. <laughs> have a spin, then we can get one for you, perhaps. <laughs> yes. 
had a good run in round one, but then uh, hit the bankrupt. And look at this. Maybe the bonus for your first spin in round two? No. 135. Oh, have an R, thanks. R for Roger. Yeah. There are four R's. Now, would you like to buy a vowel? Yes, I'll buy an E, please. E for egg. An E. Yeah, we've got three E's. Yeah, the puzzle uh, category is the 20s. We're looking for an event that happened in the 20s. Very important event. 350. Yes, for Sally. Yes. <laughs> 480. L for Lucky. Yes, you are. You've hit the lead. $915 in front on a low-scoring game at the moment. Two ten. A Y for yellow, please. There's one Y. $1,125. Hey, the bonus camera is waiting for you. Oh, here's your passport to fun. All we need is the right letter. Ah, I'm a bit stuck. D for Duncan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pull the bonus off the wheel. Alison, um, that trip to Canberra is yours. Great. A week out of the James Court apartment. There it is. A beautiful spot to stay. And $165 cash up to $12.90. What are you going to do? Buy I'll buy an A, thanks. Like God. an A. There are five A's. One thousand two hundred and forty. You gonna spin? Quick, could yes. I do something? <laughs> we do not want to buzz you out, Alison. You've got to no. keep going. <laughs> Quick. Okay, this is okay. Two ten. F for Freddy. Yes. There are two F's. I'll solve it. Thanks. What Bob. is it? The Royal Australian Air Force is founded. Yes, it was. <laughs> the year was 1921 and the RAAF takes off and go, go, go. That was when uh, it was done. 1921. Well done. $1,450 in the bank and uh, Sideshow Bob. Hey, Allison, maintain your garden's pristine condition with these appliances from Let's Lux Outdoor Products. Any man will look his best in this attractive selection of men's clothing. They're from JB Suit House. Or oh, dress your windows with a selection of attractive pleated blinds from Verisol. Well, Huddy would look great in the suit. Uh, something for him, perhaps? Or the, uh, the window blinds? You picked up uh, some blinds, too, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I did. Uh, or the Electrolux garden appliances. I think I'll give my husband a treat and get the suits. Done. He's going to be very happy. Paul, you'll look your best on the road to success with this impressive collection of men's clothing. Included are woolen trousers, a double-breasted sports blazer, shirt and silk tie. They're the definition of suave sophistication from JB Suit House. Tell you what, Elsie, you've got some nice prizes. Yeah, oh, doing Beautiful. very well. We're going to find out who the champion's going to be. Round three is next. Is it going to be Ken Tracy or Ellison? Come back and find out. champion is going to be today for Tuesday, the first day of spring. Is it going to be Tracy, Ken or Alison? We're going to find out very, very soon. Ken, you'll be in control in this round. Uh, to start with, 2000 is top dollar on the wheel. We want you to solve this. We're looking for a person, an American actor, a very, very fine one. Been a couple of big flicks that you'll know. Okay, good luck everyone. Let's go. <laughs> Now, Ken, let's see what we can start you off with. 3.40. Uh, I'll have an R for Roger. No R's. Tracy. Still plenty of time left, though, Ken. Oh, I don't know about this either, Tracy. It's going to get... Is it... Yeah, it's gone. It's uh, control <laughs> to Alison, who will probably be with for the rest of the night. <laughs> Once she gets hold of the wheel, there's no stopping her. And uh, not a bad spin to start. 700. Yes, the Sammy, please. Yes. Yeah. Here she goes. 2,150. A vowel? An A, please, Rob. An A. One. <laughs> Two, one. T 
tea for Tom, please. Yes. <laughs> One tea. Could I buy an E for egg, please? Yeah, there are two E's. <laughs> Movie star. Is what we're looking for in round three. Our champ is in control and a very good lead at the moment. Let's we'll see how far she goes. 270. In Fenora? Yes. Yeah. There are three ends. Yeah. Oh, I don't know about this champ. It's oh, going to be no. extremely close. Oh. Yeah. Ken, there was just a little bit of a little smile on your face there as that came round. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> 1,450 to go back to, Alison, because uh, you secured the money in round two, so not as all is not lost. And you've got a lead. It's my spin next, though. We're out of time. So uh, whatever I spin it, we're all playing for. Let's see, Cam, we can give you th uh, 165. H uh, for Harry? Yes. Yeah. One H, my spin. Spin up is what we're all playing for. I just require a letter if you can solve it. Please do. Oh, it's going to be close. It's going to be. I'm so sorry. Two hundred and forty dollars every letter is worth. Kent. Uh, D for dog. Yes. Do you know who this uh, famous actor is? No. No. Okay, Tracy. Uh, w for washing machine. <laughs> uh, yes. Do you know what it is? Yes, Denzel Washington. Oh, yes, it is. I thought you were going to say Denzel Washington machine there for <laughs> That's who it is, Denzel Washington. Of course, in Philadelphia, one of the big movies he was in. This is how we finished off. Tracy, 940, Ken, 695. But low scoring game, Alison Bankrupt and Maddie the champ. Thank you. <laughs> well done. Happy to say, Trace, we can give you a prize before we let you go. What have you got, Johnny? Well, you know, Trace, you could relax in the deep cushioning comfort of this rock recliner chair from Lazy Boy. Take the hassle out of doing the dishes with the dishwasher from AEG Kitchen and Laundry Appliances. Or take six fabulous nights of rest and relaxation thanks to Sarasvati Rejuvenation Farm. Where are we going to go? Uh -huh. That's a nice holiday. Uh, would you like the dishwasher or the lazy boy? I'll give my husband a break and get the dishwasher, I think. Done! He's the, he does all the washing up, yeah. doesn't he? Not anymore. Well, your husband, Jeff, can now relax, clean the dirtiest dishes at the touch of a button with this ingenious dishwasher. Its clever features include a four-stage filtration system and a half-load option. It uses only 13 litres of water per wash, and with a noise-free design, it's the world's quietest dishwasher. From AEG Kitchen and Laundry Appliances. That's nice place for you go. Husband's very happy. <laughs> Ken, bad luck, sir, but you picked up the sporting equipment, so uh, have plenty of hours of fun in the backyard with uh -huh. the, the little ones. At least you're on the show, Rob. Good to Later. have you, too, of course. Everybody gets these prizes as well. Yes, contestants receive the stylish insignia pen set. It features an elegant slimline design and lifetime guarantee from Parker Pen, plus the popular Wheel of Fortune board game by Mattel, and Adriana Xenity's book, The Silver Dog and the Bear. Good read. We'll be back. Can she do it again? We'll find out. Alison's our champ. See you right after this for the major prize round. <laughs> Oh, she's back. We're getting to know you pretty well, Alison, actually. Uh, double the scooter with you, which you won last night. Uh, let's see how you go again tonight. $19,944 already in prizes. Great. Tell you what, the car would take you up to 40. Wow. Uh, be nice if you could get it. We want you to solve this. We're looking for a thing, and you don't... Yeah, there's not many of these around anymore. There's a, there's a few, but uh, give the wheel a spin. Okay. Oh, it's close, but it's uh, it's gone. But hey, look at this! It's coming Ooh. around. It's the billiards table. I think oh. this is fantastic. Have a look at this. Alison, after dinner, the solid timber dining suite easily converts into a billiard table. Designed and made in Australia, it's beautifully crafted and features a smooth sleep bed and all accessories for the perfect game of billiards. Priced at six and a half thousand dollars from Prestige Billiards. And it's a good table too. It's the slate, the whole thing, Dixie, isn't it? The lot. Mm. Fantastic prize. Yeah. Good for uh, dinner parties. I love the billiards, actually. He's going to yeah. love this. All right, mm. let's win it for him. Right. Three constants and one... Two, two. constants and one vowel, and then I'll give you ten seconds. An R and an S and an A, please. Okay. 
Now, judging on your previous performances, you should get this. It's a thing. Uh, ten seconds from now. Oh. Talk it out. Looks a bit hard to follow. Don't see many of them around mm. anymore. No, no idea. Coming seat? No. <laughs> I got chased by one of these a uh, oh, long time ago. Pirate ship. Pirate ship. Oh. Uh. Yeah, sure. <laughs> pirate ship used to be a radio station too in uh, New Zealand. Radio Haraki too, which is a pirate radio thing. I don't even know why I said that. Ninety thousand nine hundred and forty-four dollars. She's picked up. She's very, very good. You must be so proud. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Winter to play. What is the spirit of Australia? The cast and crew choose to stay at Travel Eye Dawn around Australia. When we move, we move with Ally Kickford for careful movements. Rob shoes by Linnea Verde. Dressed by Saba Suits. Age runner shoes by Dato Shoes. Jewelry from Peter Lang. Dressed by Jerry Shaw. Hosiery by Levante. Age runner's hair by Briscoe Hero Adelaide. Contestants receive Cadbury's favourite chocolates.